welcome back to my channel okay so today i just wanted to give you an update i am 14 months locked so a little bit past the year and i feel like it is time for an update on my locks if you're interested just stay tuned okay so a couple of things have changed about my locks not a lot but some things that i feel like i don't want to miss this milestone like i don't want to miss milestones along the way my biggest biggest thing is that i am working towards you know being two years locked the year has passed and um so i'm getting closer and closer to that time where your locks if you started out with two strand twist and they're micro locks for sure they start looking more like locks so i don't want to miss that so that is one update that i'm excited about if you look at it closely you can see how um, a lot of it is interlocked and then less and less is looking like it is two strand twisted. So that's exciting. That's an exciting thing. So I'm waiting for the two strand twist to kind of thicken up. And I do think the two strand twists are thickening up. I'm waiting for them to thicken up, um, and then actually look like the barrel shape of locks instead of looking like a two strand twist. And just for reference, my hair is freshly washed. I just washed it yesterday morning and I put... Um, the aloe in it and I blow dried it um, kind of fast so an update on that is I usually put the aloe in um, and then I put my microfiber towel on top but I get flakes sometimes from the aloe vera and I actually forgot that but that was one of the reasons why I didn't use aloe vera on like years and years and years ago like when I had a relaxer and then again when I started going natural I would try to use aloe vera gel because it was more natural but it would always give me flakes especially around my hairline and I still get some from the aloe vera that I'm using now but if you watch my last video I showed you how to make aloe vera the easiest way but with that way it kind of comes out more with the consistency of oil than like a gooeyness a little thicker so I've learned that I can't put as much in so now when I do my aloe vera, I um, actually been like greasing my scalp, <laughs> like it's grease. Like I put in a little dish and I actually only did this once, but I put in a little dish and then I put some of my scalp, massaged that in and then put some in my hand and rubbed it on to try to eliminate flakes. So with that being said, like I said, this is, I just washed it yesterday morning and I don't really see any, so that's good. So I did a good job and, um, so that's good. That's just something um, that I want to combat a little bit better. And yes, and I also wanted to bring it up because it's necessary to know. If you use the aloe vera and you put too much in, it may flake. And because my hair is dark, super dark, it's, if you see white flakes, it's an obvious thing. The other update that I have as far as washing is that um, previously I said I wanted to wash only like during my retie time. So as le the least amount as possible to see if it will help my hair lock faster. I can't really say it helped my hair lock faster. It honestly looks like, because I know other people like my sister and other clients who like wash their hair a lot and their two strand twists start looking like locks to me faster. So even though it may not be locked itself, it might just be like the frizz and the hair kind of coiling on itself or the extra hair type thing. But I don't think, I don't think personally that washing your hair less makes it lock faster. I really don't. So at this point, I've kind of gone back to what I did when I was natural. And that is when my hair is asking to be washed or not just washed, but wet, then it's going to get wet. Like it's going to get wet. So, um, and that's one of the reasons why I washed it. I'm due for a retie. My last retie had to be like eight to 10 weeks ago. I don't know. I've been supposed to be doing it for like two weeks now. Um, so I am due for a retie and, um, yeah. And so, yeah, I washed it and never retied it. So I just washed it again because it was asking for it. So I'm kind of going back to whatever my hair tells me that it wants and when it wants it, giving it to it at that time. So yeah, I kind of wash when I feel like washing out. So there's no real set schedule and I will talk about that guy willing in another video. There is no real set schedule on my washes. It's just whatever my hair dictates that it wants. And when it starts acting a particular way, whether it's the scalp is a little dry, whether it feels a little itchy, or um, being that it is locked, sometimes they do feel dry. So 
just kind of filling out the textures um yeah taking care of it the way that it that it tells me to do it the other thing that i do want to point out is i love 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 my curly ends like i love them so much like they're so nice and pretty to me and something that i realized is that when i was natural my hair kind of looks like this when it's wet not when it's dry because when it's dry it's going to shrivel up like this <laughs> But when it's wet, it kind of looked like this, and especially my ends, they always have like this super curly thing. And I always wanted, and I always would say to myself, like, how can I get my hair to look like it looks when it's wet, but when it's dry? And actually, the locks are doing that for me. Like, the way it looks with locks is pretty much how it looks when my hair is like wet. And I mean, like, not damp, because the moment the water starts leaving, it's shriveling up. But when it's wet, it looks the same way. I love my ends. I don't want them to lock. I want them to kind of stay loose at least as at least as long as possible so i'll be giving them a little bit more tlc to make sure that they don't break off because if they break off it will defeat the whole purpose of having the loose ends that curl but i think they're so so pretty and as much as possible i want to keep it so i might put a little extra aloe vera on my ends or spray my ends as needed as well i am paying closer attention to them I want them to stay loose and curly. Um, as I mentioned in the last video, I have satin bed sheets. And um, yeah, so sometimes I don't wear something on my head at night because I know I have the satin bed sheets, which if you have never slept in satin bed sheets, it is such a treat. Like every time I get in the bed, I feel like I am pampering myself. But because of that, sometimes I don't wear anything on my head at night because I know this bed sheets are satin. And um, I might still put my hair in a pineapple or not. I'm just going to be honest or not um, because sometimes my hair just wants to be loose. And in that case, I'm not. But the satin bed sheets are helping. And I do still have the satin scarves that I wear. But it kind of feels redundant. Satin scarves on top of satin bed sheets. It feels redundant. But um, yes, so that's how I've been sleeping at night. And the last thing I want to mention is I feel like um i feel like when the roots grow out it is a little bit harder to manage now or maybe because it's getting a little bit longer maybe but um like i said sometimes i sleep with a pineapple and i wish i could show you this <laughs> but uh maybe one day i will but sometimes i sleep with a pineapple so when i go to take my hair and bring it down like down like this I, I have to like shake my head so vigorously. <laughs> I shake it so vigorously, like like as hard as I can to kind of bring it down. Um, so I realized, I, I've noticed, you notice this a lot with people that have straighter hair, whose hair is naturally straight or very long and it's kind of straight or curly. And like they shake their hair to kind of put it in place. I have to do that now. Like before it would be like, if it's in a pineapple, I can use my hands to bring it down. If I do that now, especially when I have new growth, it's like I'm just running into like, not knots, but like locks that maybe are so close together that if I put my hands in the right way, I feel like I might be ripping through them or something. And I don't want to do that. So I kind of like shake my head really hard to bring everything down and then put my hands on my scalp and shake it like that as well so um depending on your hair you probably know what i'm talking about but i just slip my hands in and shake everybody down everybody's got to get shaken down so no longer am i kind of like taking it out the pineapple or taking it out of a bun and like pulling it down or raking through it which is what i used to be able to do i don't do that anymore i gotta shake everybody everybody's gotta get shaken um, and same thing for when I am putting in a pineapple or a ponytail or a high, high ponytail at night, I literally stand up and bend my head down and shake everybody up. Um, and that just kind of alleviates me. If I rake through, I feel like I'm ripping through like the ends, which are very, um, sensitive at this time, or I feel like I am, yeah, like I'm going to run into that. So I don't, I don't really do that. Everything gets shaken shaken not stirred but um yeah like i don't rake through it as much when i'm styling i kind of shake it and try to get the hair to get into place by my movements i hope that makes sense if i get a chance i will definitely show you what i mean <laughs>
<laughs> maybe in another video it's pretty funny to me <laughs> but yes that is all that i have for you today i hope that you enjoyed this video of course of course of course you have your montage at the end where you get to see how my hair looks up close and yeah i hope that you enjoy thank you so much for tuning in until next time adios Thank you.